We are so excited today to be here with the Utah State Treasurer, David Damption, and we're talking about unclaimed property. Now, this is something that a lot of Utahns might have and don't realize. In fact, Reagan, you had a funny experience with this, this recently. This did happen to me. David so graciously came on the show a few years ago and brought me like over $2,000 that I had no idea that I had. It's really, Grace is not involved. It's your <laughs> money. It's my money, it's but, only you, fair. but you research and find this money for people, though, and save it, like you said, for a long time. That's right. Yeah, we track this information really forever, going back to the 1950s. And so once we come into possession of that property, we hold it in custody and do all that we can to reunite it with the rightful owner. So, David, was Reagan's situation unique? I mean, how common is this to have unclaimed property? It's really common. One in five Utahns have lost properties. And um, I tell people, if you'll sit down for 20 minutes, go on to mycash.utah.gov. <laughs> David, uh, where? Okay. What, I see where you're going. With what that. money are we not claiming? What I mean, where? Where's, where's coming this coming from? from? Well, um, it might be a bank account. Um, you moved away, didn't give a change of address to the bank, and they can't find you. It might be a, re a rebate or a refund check that never arrives in the Wait, mail. I think or... I might have just seen my name on the screen. Was that yeah. something? Was that something for me? Yeah, we we found some money for you. It it, it wasn't a couple of thousand it wasn't dollars. It wasn't dollars. Sorry. We bought Reagan the. <laughs> Big check. We'll bring you a little check. Okay, what does it check. say? How it's much do you like, have, Allie? Um, Seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. I hey. wonder where that came from. It says ICMA Retirement Corporation. I actually have no idea what that is. So, go figure. But I'll take it. Well, honestly, I don't care where it came from. I just care about where it's going to go, which is into your pocket, where it belongs. I'm in. So. I can Did buy it. How, <laughs> how fun is your job? I mean, that you get to give checks to people that <laughs> may actually really need some of this money, like right? Money. Is that fun? Yeah, when I tell people I'm from the government and I don't want your money, they're they're uh, happily surprised to hear. They don't believe you for a minute. You have to convince them. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's a great job. It's like Santa Claus, 365 It is. You're like the year. real life Santa Claus. So currently yeah. at the Utah Unclaimed Property Division um, is 370 million dollars in unclaimed. That is so significant. That's right. And and I, you know, I think I mentioned this to you earlier. We track this forever. So when you're searching, look for grandma and great grandpa because this information goes back to the 1950s and once we take possession of it we hold it forever and we really want to get it back to the rightful owner every year we take in between 30 and 50 million dollars in utah and we pay out historically in recent years over 20 million last year 24.4 million the highest ever but you can do the math we're, we're as hard as we work to get it back to the rightful owners more is coming in than we're able to pay so out. So what happens over time with all the money that people don't claim? Well, there's a certain residual each year that we pass into the, what's called the Uniform School Fund, so it helps to fund public education. So our first priority is to get it to the rightful owner, but uh, to some degree, we're not going to be able to get it all back to where it belongs, and so there's a, a proportion that will go to help fund public education. Cool, right. but there's no limit, right? Like if it's been 10 years or 20 years, you can still go claim your property. Forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mycash.utah.gov. That's right. Go find your money, people. <laughs> Go do it today. David, thank you so much. Thanks for having so me. So appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you, guys. you being I here. I know. I hope thank our you. viewers can get, like, you know, yeah. just a little surprise today. Up. All right. So if you have muscle pain, we have an answer for you. Nisha tried an unconventional way to get rid of her back pain. Warning. Needles are involved if you're queasy. Take a look. <laughs> 